Hi, this is Chris Rhodes, a neuropsychologist at Harborview's Memory and Brain Wellness Center, uh, and pleased to offer you a final recorded meditation in our series in partnership with the Fry Art Museum. Uh, so this will be our last recorded session, and uh, the full list uh, is available on the Fry YouTube channel, so you're always welcome to revisit those. And then starting in January, we will return to the previous program of two live sessions a month on the first and third Wednesdays, starting at 1230. Uh, so that'll be January 4th and January 18th, 2023. Uh, this session also marks the third in a series of mindfulness-based stress reduction applications. Uh, and uh, fortuitously, uh, we started this series way back in 2020 with an overview of why mindfulness is important and kind of the, the basic constructs and less of a meditation per se, but more of an overview. Uh, and we closed this series also with um, a little bit more of a didactic heavy in a way uh, in terms of uh, how mindfulness-based meditation factors into stress management, maybe not reduction, but management. So in the first of the three parts, there was a practice of cultivating awareness to the internal response to stress you know, of our bodily and mind um, kind of reactions to a stressor. And so important to develop awareness of what happens uh, as a sign and a signal that we are stressed and maybe a cue to think about doing something about it. Part two was cultivating awareness of the internal and external factors that give rise to stressors. So situations, relationships, uh, our own internal expectations, dialogues. And part three uh, is really kind of doing the work. And part two is so important in that we need as unvarnished and unbiased of a view of the things that give rise to stress, whether they're external or internal, uh, because that clear-eyed awareness of that uh, is such an important foundation to be able to begin to do things and to respond. So I, I think of it as uh, there's something that happens and it's very often a stimulus and react. And one of the benefits of mindfulness is kind of a greater awareness of that stimulus to then allow choices around response versus react and getting out of the, the patterns that we're in sometimes. So part of it is acceptance of whether it's the internal dialogue we have or the stories we tell ourselves or the external situations that give rise to stress coupled with commitment to changing those things that are within our sphere of influence to change some of which are easier or quicker than others, uh, but that persistent commitment to working on the things that stress us out, again, whether it's a situation or our own internal expectations. So that practice of noticing when we're stressed, that practice of noticing those things that give rise to those stress responses, coupled with action knowing that some can never be changed, whether it's a health condition or a societal condition that's beyond our sphere of influence, uh, but certainly uh, ways to think about um, our relationship to those things. The other part of this is treating both the external things and internal things and ourselves with as much kindness as humanly possible. So this is where that component of self-compassion and compassion for others becomes so important. And as we do that work, consistently treating ourselves with kindness and others with kindness, uh, which again, that is a practice. So perhaps, you know, as you think about the work that you do, whether it's changing some relationship or situation or internal imperatives or expectations, uh, building in a regular practice of self-compassion and self-kindness coupled with kindness towards others and situations. So in that vein, and perhaps as our last kind of, um, practice here in this recorded series, uh, I will invite you to get comfortable and to allow your eyes to close 
or rest on a location without too much visual input. As you bring your attention to your present experience, regardless of what that is, where you are, but just noticing the body in space, air entering and leaving the body as you breathe in and out, perhaps taking one deep cleansing breath and allowing the body to relax as fully as possible. Bringing to mind whatever aspect of your current existence is a stressor or that you're worried about. Again, it could be a relationship, a situation. health problem for yourself or someone that you love and just holding that in mind for a moment noticing whatever occurs in the body or the mind your internal experience or reactions could be muscles tightening, the breath becoming more shallow, thoughts becoming more rapid or filled with shoulds or musts or can'ts or whatever may occur. And acknowledging this situation just as it is. And just that, a situation, a temporary state. Before redirecting your attention to your breathing, again, perhaps taking one deep cleansing and reorienting breath. before allowing the breathing to slow. Doing your best to shift to the abdomen through the diaphragm. Being careful not to take too deep of breath but just developing a nice, slow, relaxed patterns of inhales and exhales. You may find that the mind returns back to whatever stressor you brought up and doing your best to treat that with kind curiosity. Oh, isn't that interesting? I'm thinking that that again versus I shouldn't be, must not, before gently returning back to your breathing. and offering yourself some wishes of loving kindness, doing your best to accept these.
May I be well and free from suffering. May I be well and free from suffering. May I truly be well and free from suffering. Your mind may also return to those external or internal things that need some address. I'm just acknowledging this and some future time at which that can occur before gently redirecting back to your breathing. And continuing to offer yourself any well wishes, kindness, or self compassion. Acceptance of this moment and yourself in it, coexisting with commitment to addressing that which is within our sphere of influence. And acknowledging that this work takes time and persistence. And when you are ready, returning attention back to other aspects of the body, your feet on the floor, whatever sensations available to your hands, Perhaps your eyelids gently falling together. Or the totality of your experience in space. Still aware of your breathing. Happening moment to moment without having to intend it or will it but always available as an area of focus for the attention, grounding, an anchor to this present moment. And when you are ready, allowing your eyes to open And as always, 
taking with you my appreciation and gratitude for getting to practice this with you and offer all of these different practices over these last few years, which has truly been an honor and a pleasure and looking forward to continuing to partner with the Fry to offer these sessions in person. Taking good care of yourselves and each other from here on out. Thanks.